taken. Hi, Lisa. Hi. <laughs> There you go. You knew it was coming, right? I'm ready. <laughs> I gave you a chance to think. You came right up with it. We're going to ride the Galibier. The Col de Galibier climbs 1,213 meters out of Valois to the summit at 2,642 meters, with an average grade of 6.9%. The last seven kilometers frequently average 8 to 9%, as you can see by all the dark red on the right side of this chart. The Col de Galibier is the eighth highest paved road in the Alps. In 1876, the first passable road was completed between the Marianne Valley and Briançon. In 1911, it made its first appearance in the Tour de France. That year, only three cyclists were able to reach the summit without walking their crude single-speed bikes. Since then, it has appeared 60 times in the Tour de France. It is frequently the highest point in the Tour de France. Compared to many other famous climbs of the Tour, which are mostly famous because of the Tour, the grandeur of the Galibier stands on its own as a national landmark and its status is merely magnified by the tour's frequent visits. We had a good breakfast. We stayed last night at the Hotel de la Poste here in lovely Valois. Oh, wow. That is pretty. Like that little church up there. Yeah. Well, this Galibier starts off with a bang. Eights and nines right out of town. Beautiful day, isn't it, Lisa? This is day six of our quest to conquer the route of the Grand Alps from Geneva, Switzerland to Nice, France. In the first five days, we completed nine major climbs totaling over 30,000 feet in elevation. That puts us just past the halfway mark on our journey, totaling almost 500 miles and 58,000 feet of climbing. Oh, wow. Today, we would complete another 5,000 feet towards our goal. All these flowers, so pretty. 12K. Working it, baby, working it. One step at a time. It's the way life is. <laughs> Bonjour. Got a Bravo. Very nice. Bravo, Bravo. <laughs> Lisa and I are being lazy today. Her heart rate is 126, mine's 134. I just looked down and I'm like, I'm not even working. <laughs> That's where we're going over there. Now we're got a serious climb here, and that's baby, baby. Right now, we just gotta focus on getting to that next switchback. Nine percent, five k. Cool. We'll knock some of this out right here, just way up there. <laughs> oh, here's Pantani forever. On the road to the top of the Galibier is a monument to Marco Pantani, one of the greatest cyclists of all time, who won the Tour de France Giro d'Italia double in 1998. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest climbing specialists of all time. He met an untimely death in 2004 at just 34 years old. This monument was erected in his honor in 2011. There's Levi. Yeah, uh, that's funny. Eight years later, starting to look closer. Oh, there you go, Lisa. We got no business being here, do we? We did not go through the tunnel. We did not come to the Galibier to go through the tunnel. To the top, or bust for us hollies. This wall, whoo. There it is, Lisa. Woo! Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, go, 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 go. Starting and stopping on a 10% grade is not an easy thing for a tandem. <laughs> go, go. Go, go. 
Go, go. Allez, bravo. Ouais. Hein. Merci. Ah. Ah. Merci. Lisa, you just climbed the Col du Calibier. What are you going to do next? Hope the brakes work. Yeah, yeah. It goes without saying that we're going to go down. Down, 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 down. And then off the edge of the earth right down there. All right, we're at the top of the Glibier, aren't we? Yes, we are. And uh, just had a nice visit with a German man. No, he's French. French man, but he knows German, and it was so our, more, our more common language was German, so we visited in German. It was really fun. From the top of the Col de Glibier, you descend a glorious 7 kilometers and 580 meters down to the top of the Col de Lauteray. In my opinion, this is the most scenic side of the Glibier, with glacier covered mountains rising up in the distance as you descend. From Lauteray, it's a long, strong man's descent down to Briançon and the start of the Col des Wards. Here we go, girlfriend. Hope the brakes work. I want to take you with me. Where do you want to go? Imagine the way it could be. If life was Allez, an open Allez. road. Come on and take it easy. See the whole world up close. Let's get lost in the great unknown. Oh. We've experienced our brake pads glazing over and becoming useless, so we made it a rule to stop part way down each major descent to let the brakes cool down. Hi Lisa. Hi. We're descending. This mountain peak is Le Grand Glibier, which stands at 10,590 feet tall. There we go. So we did turn left to Beyond Zone in 28 kilometers. All right, back to warp speed. Just a moment to ask you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel. After all this work, I can certainly use a boost from a nice person like you. Hello, church. It's open. There it is. Cold is odd. Yeah, yeah, left up here. We intended to stay the night in Briançon, but to be honest, it didn't seem like our kind of town. So once again, we headed for the mountains. Why not take a bite out of the Cold is Ward while the day was still young? Although we started up the Col des Ward today, we would only make it about halfway before we decided to stop for the evening. The ride from Bianson to Servieres is 11 kilometers and 418 meters in elevation gain for a mild 3.8% grade. Not having a working phone to help us find a place to stay each evening always weighed a bit on us, but we were blessed to have things always work out. I'm in. I'm in too. We'll find a place to stay tonight. I feel like we're supposed to go on. I'm following <laughs> We are entering the town of Sevilla. Hotel de Suad, restaurant and bar. All right, so we pulled in here to get a Coke and try to get some snacks so we could climb the rest of the Col de Suad. And, uh, and it started to rain and it was already close to four o'clock and we didn't have a place to stay in the next town on the other side of the mountain. And so I just asked this guy if he had a room and he's overcharging us a little bit, but he's including dinner and breakfast. And so we're just gonna take it and, yep. and call it a day. We so washed our clothes. We washed all our clothes. They're all hanging out and getting dry. And now we're going to just enjoy the evening. And this guy's going to draw up a little uh, description of the rest of our route. 
since we don't know without the cell phone where we're going yep. entirely. And we just keep connecting the dots on the route of the Grand Alps and it's working. This really old community next to where we're staying. Wow, it's just... Construction is very ancient. I think you could say this is ancient, can't you, Lisa? Oh. So we just walked up to this door and it, it won't open, but it's got a really cool door handle here. It's kind of a locking mechanism, oh, but show the step. yeah, it's got a snake for a handle here. So you can slide that along and then push these things in. Maybe that one goes in. And look at this neat entryway here, Lisa. Wow. St. Michael. Some of the show. Got these pillars out in front. It has a hand on it. Beautiful view out here. Coldy Zwad. Here's another door, Lisa. Not much of one. And another tooth. Oh my gosh. There's a person down underneath me. He's just full of bones. It's just leaking bones. There's like all kinds of bones over here. Just bones everywhere. You find a skull, Lisa? There's two pieces of the skull right there. You see a piece of skull right here. This is their size. Go, Lisa. <laughs> well, very interesting. Our stroll through Saviata that evening was just the change of pace we needed and gave us a nice hands-on, up-close experience with history. We had to hurry back to the hotel to beat an oncoming thunderstorm that lasted deep into the night. Dinner was wonderful and set the stage for the next day's climbs up the rest of the Izward and the Col du Vars. But today, it was the mighty and glorious Galibier, and then some, adding another 40 miles and over 5,000 feet of climbing on our journey through the route of the Grand Alps. Every turn, every turn.